What up guys, it's Animates here to bring you the review portion of Sword Art Online episodes 15 through 17. I skip episode 14.5 because that's just a recap. Recaps are unnecessary. I don't need a review. I know what I'm watching. I know where I am, get dim. <laughs> I was gonna say these pre these three episodes were pretty good, were pretty damn good. Majority of them focus more on Klein and Kirito. To be honest with you, maybe a bit more Klein, just because I don't know. I f these episodes felt like they were giving a good moment for his character, not only of him as a person being a kind person, but him being plenty capable on the battlefield. Thing that sucks though, I really felt bad for Klein because I thought he was actually gonna get the he 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 was gonna get that chick's number. I tell you what, but no, he took an L on that. It was a trap. It really was a trap. Not in the way you thought, but you know what I mean. It was a trap. It was a dude. But uh, turns out um, even though he did got tricked there, yo, he got he got he. He got he got the hammer, Wilmir. Basically, he got Thor's hammer, Bruh, Klein. I know you don't have any hammer skills, but just learn. Just 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 learn. You got a legendary weapon. Make use of it, and you can be just as you can probably be as badass as Kirito. So look on the plus side on that. <laughs> Everyone was willing to ignore it, but because he chose not to, he got a plus. And plus, um, that one. That one fairy chick, god chick, or whatever you want. You know the blonde one that basically uh, request that gave them the quest. Um, because of because of it, um, they, we were introduced to two other new characters. The sister of said of said uh, that said goddess chick or fairy, whatever. And Klein looked like he was trying to connect with that skull chick. Now, not sure if it was an NPC. Not sure if we're gonna see more of that later on. But you're pretty damn dope. I want my boy Klein to get the W with with some chick. I want him to get that W. But only time will tell as the series progresses. We got we got down three episodes. Now we have eight, seven episodes left. Once we do that, um, I'm going to watch Ortonal Scale one more time. I've seen it already, but I'll see it one more time because this time I actually know the characters this time. So. It makes more sense to watch it. I, I won't be completely lost this time. <laughs> so yeah, damn good up, damn pretty, pretty damn good episodes. Honestly, we got to see the group uh, going on the quest of Kirito of what he been he's been wanting for a while now, and that's getting the sword Excalibur. And now he got Excalibur. Um, but here's the thing. So does that mean Kirito is basically the most OP? player in the game since he got that sword is that sword these swords these swords of all swords or like how, how, what are we talking here all i know is um it felt like a short little arc like a little mini arc to bo from beginning to end within these three episodes but just for kirito to get the sword that he's been wanting to get his hands on that's how it felt like how the episode ended on episode 17 to what we're moving on next which is called the forest house not sure what it means not sure what it's gonna be but we'll see we'll see the threat level in this uh honestly i wasn't that tense i mean it was awesome fight scenes don't get me wrong the fight scenes in sao are by far one of the best i've seen but i will say this the threat level felt kind of uh, it was kind of lackluster but it's okay. I mean, it was still awesome to see our characters go through these epic trials and get these awesome legendary weapons. Molnir or whatever you call that hammer and Excalibur. So I'm happy for the group, even though mostly Klein and Kirito benefited from this. I will say this though, bro, Kirito, you have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend. Why are these girls still trying to come on to him? Like, they're still acting very freaking flirty. Like, it's ridiculous. I get it. He's one. He's like an amazing player, like, in the game. But why are you still throwing yourselves at him even though he's taken? Like, god damn. Uh, dude, this guy's, this guy's chick. This guy, not only is he a beater in game, he's a beater in the... <laughs> and it, it, with chicks too. He's a beater with chicks. 
Why does that sound so wrong? <laughs> My god, dude. He's taken. Why are you, Xion? Bro, just look for another dude. Why are you still trying to get on this man's joystick? It's whatever. That's the one thing that I do, I admit, that I don't like sometimes in SAO. The way all these chicks, like, still throw themselves at him. Still basically want the Kirito. And he's taken. Realistically, no real chick would still be interested like that. They probably just move on or whatever. They befriend him, but they move on completely. But obviously, that's not the freaking case in this point. They are still wanting to get it though you tell you know what i mean but it's whatever everything about else about the show i will admit is on point love the action especially the action the action scenes in this show is just phenomenal but anyway guys i don't want to ramble on too much i'm gonna make this review short simply because i got stuff to do tomorrow morning and it's already about to be one in the morning like i gotta be sleeping by now so um, hmm, what to add as a question? Okay, number one. Do you, in this mini arc, would you guys say Klein got the W simply because he got that Wolmir or whatever? Thor's hammer, I'm just going to call it Thor's hammer. Or did he get the L because he got, he was going to get that, hmm, that beautiful that beautiful chick but instead he got a weapon i mean granted it could have been an mp it could it could have been an, an computer which most likely is the case but what do you guys think do you think Klein got the w or did he is he still getting handed l's what do you think let me know why in the comment section below depending on your answer actually don't matter regardless of the answer um uh, second question It's kind of similar to a question I had before, but I really have to make this known again because it's really annoying. Would you girls still be throwing yourselves like if you were a character in the game? You know Kirito. Would you still be all up in this man if he was taken? Would you still pull a she on what she did with Excalibur? Like, seriously. Do you think how they're acting is normal? This is not normal. Like, bro, you all you girls should have been done and over with with him, except Asuna for the obvious reasons. Asuna, why are you being so lenient with how he acts with women? Come on. Set the dude straight. But it's whatever. Yeah, that's those are my questions there. You feel free to answer them if you wish to or not in the comment section below. Make sure to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. Um, it motivates me to put out more content like these for you guys. Um, and guys, um, earlier we were at 239 subscribers. Now we finally hit 240 subscribers. We are back on track to where I was on my old channel. We finally made... we. That big loss that we took a few months ago, we finally recovered. We recovered. From here on up, is just moving on moving on up. We're just moving on up from here on out. So, subs, for those that, I mean, people that haven't subbed, hit that sub button, damn it. It's up to you, though. It really is up to you, but I'd appreciate it either way. So, anyway, that's it, guys. I'm out. Peace. I'm going to get some sleep. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. Peace. Peace. God dang it.